So let me ask you a question. What is your number one passion project? What is that high priority creative project that's most important to you? And I have no idea what that is. For you, it could be a music album. It could be a series of paintings for an art exhibit. It could be that book you've been wanting to finish and get out into the world. Or perhaps it's a photography exhibition. Maybe it's a play, a screenplay, an indie film, a fashion line. I have no idea, but you do. You know what that number one creative project is. So let me ask you about that. Is it already completed? Is it out in the world? Are people already enjoying this wonderful thing that you've created? If so, congratulations, that's awesome. If not, well, you're not alone. A lot of creative people know what their number one passion project is, but for whatever reason, it ends up sitting on this perpetual back burner in this hazy limbo state for ever. And I hope you know that that's not the best way that you can serve. That's not the best way that you can make a difference with your creativity. You need to finish that thing. You need to get it out into the world so it sees the light of day. Kick it out of the nest and see if it can fly on its own. That's the only way your creativity, your skills, your talent, your passions are going to make a difference and touch people. And how do you do that? Well, honestly, it comes down to committing to doing a little something on that project to make forward progress with it every day. That's right, every day. Now, I know you have all kinds of excuses. Oh, right now is not a good time. I don't have the money. I don't have the energy. I'm so tired. I'm not inspired. But I'm telling you, whatever mystical concept you have in your mind of this perfect day arriving that you can dive into your art or your creativity, it's not a reality. It's never coming. The best time to work on your passion project is now. The best day to get started on it again, today. Even if you only commit five minutes a day, yes, only five minutes, develop a habit, develop a mini habit of working on that thing every day. And you'll find that as you do this, as you develop this habit, even if you only have a few minutes to sit down and work on it, to type it out, to strum a few chords, to design and paint or whatever it is, you will find that that time will expand. It'll become a priority. You'll focus on it more. You'll make progress. You'll feel good about that. You'll start to see the light at the end of the tunnel and want to work harder on it. You can do this, you should do this for yourself, but also for all the people who will benefit from this thing that you're just holding within you. So please stop making excuses, stop being selfish, and stop putting all your priorities elsewhere. You need to feed your soul and you need to get that thing out into the world so other people can enjoy it, benefit from it, and then spread the word to other people who also need to benefit from it. So here's a way that I may be able to help you with this. I am relaunching a program that I did a couple of years ago called Get Important Stuff Done, but this is called the Passion Project Edition, and everyone who participates is gonna pick that one passion project, that thing that they know they have to get off the back burner and get completed, and they're gonna commit to doing a little something on it every day for 30 days in a row. That's right, every day for 30 days in a row. But you're not gonna be working in isolation totally on your own. It's gonna be a support group. You're gonna be hooked up with a success partner that you'll speak with one-on-one -on -one three to five times a week. Uh, there'll be a, a private Facebook group where you'll be able to interact with everyone who's going through this journey. Uh, we'll have weekly conference calls where you can ask me questions and also benefit from the wisdom of the entire group. So I won't spell out all the details. It's on this page, or if you're watching it somewhere else, there'll be a link to the page where you can see all the details of the program. I hope you'll join us. I hope you'll allow me and everyone else who is participating in this to inspire you, to encourage you, to hold you accountable in a gentle way so you can get that thing done. Are you with me? I hope so. Thanks for watching. This is Bob Baker saying so long for now.